Well, Boromir is dead. And I don't know how I'm going to tell the little kids. We are having a Cinco de Mayo party tonight. We are at the theater seeing the new Doctor Strange bit movie. It is way too scary for the little boys. We decided to stay back and uh, go to Frog Pond and Turtle Pond. What is out there? Something's out there. I'm so scared. Johnny. What's up, man? Not good. Well, Boromir is dead. And I don't know how I'm going to tell the little kids. I guess just tell them. Cody, the guy that's uh, running the ranch, is all worked up about it, trying to figure out if it was something that, that uh, he did or what. But bleeding out of its nose, I don't think that's something that he did. He's been pretty aggressive towards the bull recently, and I just wonder if they got into it a little bit crazy. But I'll get the vet out there and see what happened and make sure there's no, nothing that we're doing so we don't uh, have any more casualties with the other two. And the mom, she's uh, she's pregnant, so we gotta make sure everything's good there. It's time to tell you about this this morning. <laughs> it's time to tell me about this. That's Boromir. What happened? I don't, Cody doesn't know yet. What? He's got blood coming out of his nose. Oh no. Yeah. But yeah, that's Boromir. He died, oh, died no. last night. That's not good. That bad part is going to be telling the kids. Probably. Yeah. I don't know, maybe they haven't built like a strong relationship with him mm -hmm. on purpose because we were going to. Because we were going to eat him. Not going to happen now. Mm. I'm just glad I'm not the one who found him. I know. Cody's all upset about it. Mm. And, you know, hoping that it's not anything he did because he went out there at 8 o'clock last night and fed him and stuff. And I'm like, I don't think it's anything you did, but he's just he's all upset about it because it's under his his watch, you know. So, anyway. Oh, man. Poor guy. Yep. Canyon really likes to play this game um, that the that his teacher has set up. It's an early class. It's an optional class, right, Giga? Yeah. And he got up early enough today to do it on his own, which is really cool and exciting. So... You have about 20 minutes. Okay, Gigo? Why is he the mim kitty? Why is he the mim kitty? I still haven't told the kids yet, but Cody just called me and said that, uh, that the vet just showed up and is doing the autopsy right now. And uh, he'll get back to me soon and let us know what he thinks um, could be the issue out there. I mean, there's still steam as soon as he cut into him. His body was still hot. Wow. He's like, yeah, this didn't happen too long, that long ago. Okay, so we just took out two different kinds of hay out to the ranch. We took um, some stuff that was just barely newly cut, and that's the smaller bells. And then we have some larger bells that were just delivered um, last week. And so uh, the vet said that these younger cows just, they don't know what to watch for in their own bodies, and it can happen on an instant. So that's what happened, is bloat got bloated, so basically his first chamber, first stomach chamber, got blocked with this really leafy, leafy um, hay that uh, is really dry and it's really leafy, and it just got into a ball in there, clogged it up, and then once they get caught up there, they bloat, and then it cuts off their circulation, and it cut off the circulation to his whole hind end, and um, that's what happened. So that happened within a couple hours, and um, Anyway, Cody was quite worried about it. So am I. I'm like, we can do, we can do better, right? We can do a better job than that. And that was like, hey, listen, don't, don't beat your stuff up too much. This happens to even the most seasoned cattle ranchers. I uh, said one of the other things that we can do is get what's called bloat block that'll help um, indigestion. Basically, that's what it is. It's indigestion. It's it just stopped up, couldn't move through. So it stinks. Really stinks. Still got to tell the kids though. Okay, so I have something to tell you guys. Huh? Co huh? Are you in your car? Oh, no. I think I know what it is. Cody got up this morning and found Boromir dead. What? What? He died last night. That's so yeah, he was on his he was on his side and he was all bloated and so no more Boromir. He didn't make it. So I've got to go out there with Cody. Cody's burying him right now. I'll show you the pictures. And then I've got to go pay for the vet, and I've got to go uh, with Cody and make a battle plan to make sure the other cows don't have the same problem. It's sad, but I think we've all kind of set ourselves up for him not being there anyway, because we were gonna 
butcher him, but the poor guy, he, he was good last night and then Cody found him this morning. So anyway, I wanted to tell you guys before I left so we could. Anyway, we literally watched a show last night, a vet show where a vet went out and, on a farm and um, a, a horse was not doing that well. And then they showed how the vet did like an autopsy to see how, why the horse died and everything. And we thought it was fascinating. Well, not so fascinating when you go through it yourself. And I know we haven't had to go through it. Cody's the one that got, went through it today, but I'm gonna go check on him, make sure everything's okay with him. Make sure he you know, doesn't feel like he's blaming himself for it. And then um, just see how things are going with the funeral or the, the burying of the, of the cow and everything. Uh, we, we chose a spot and so I wanna go see where that spot is. And I wanna just check and see what it looks like with the other cows and the feed and everything and just kind of understand that a little more. Stubbsy, Cody's been out here cleaning everything up. The, uh, this is the garden area. He's been cleaning it up, looks pretty good. And then he went and uh, organized all the stuff over here. We'll go check out in a minute where the cow uh, is because um, Cody took care of that this morning before we got here. There, that's where the cow's buried. That's a pretty good spot, right out there in that clearing. That's the stuff right there that is not good for him. Really leafy, not much at all in there. That's not the best for him right there. That's what did it. This is what they're supposed to be eating right there. The difference. Looks like this is where it happened right here. Yeah, I can tell a little bit from the markings and whatnot. It really stinks, it really does, it sucks. But we're moving forward. We're gonna live from, that we're gonna learn from this experience. It's situations like this in life that you have to just try to make the best of it, learn from it, get to a point where you're learning to adapt to whatever things you don't know about, right? Learn, learn, learn. Look at this, Stubbsy's built up. A tool bench back here in Connex. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. I like it. Yeah. It's I'm tired of sitting here doing this on the <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's looking so good out here. Okay, I decided to come down here to the place where Stubbsy had uh, buried the cow. There it is right there, down here in the canyon. Beautiful spot to be buried. Still really sad. I think it's actually over in that area. Um, if you're wondering who Stubbsy is, probably are. Stubbsy's our, uh, the guy that's out here. He lives on the ranch and helps us out out here protects everything, keeps everything going, and uh, it's, he's quite, quite sad today because he thinks he had something to do with this, but this just happens. It's just part of the part of the thing when you have animals, unfortunately, and, and the vet was able to help us all understand that a little more, that he's been to quite a few calls over the last little while because the calves are being born and, and certain things are happening, but this is a spot that I want to make sure that we're documenting because the kids might want to come out here and Leave something here for Boromir. But um, Cody did a really good job, Subsy, of, of burying him. Said he is, he's eight feet under right here. So that's good, because then the animals won't try to dig him up. There's no, no way they're gonna be able to smell it there. We are having a Cinco de Mayo party tonight, and so Danielle asked if I could make fruit salsa. And I always forget how much I like it. And I really only make it on Cinco de Mayo. So, fruit salsa, it's got strawberries, Kiwi, apples, raspberries, and we'll have jam and some sugar. And then we'll fry up some tortillas and put them in cinnamon and sugar and have cinnamon sugar chips to eat them with. So yummy. All right, Danielle made the chips, put the fruit salsa on. Mm. Hmm? Are they horrible? Mm-hmm. Disgusting? Mm-hmm. Awful? Mm-hmm. You probably don't want any of this. Chris is going crazy. It smells so delicious, huh?
Let's eat. Hey, there's Stitch. Aww. I did look up for that. <laughs> it was the first thing I looked for. I'm like, oh, where's Stitch? Oh, he's on the bottom too. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna dress up our baby as Stitch someday. <laughs> yes. yes. Nice. Hat and a hat, pop and pop, squash and socks, green eggs and ham, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are at the theater seeing the new Doctor Strange bit movie, and we were all supposed to come, but Allie saw it a few hours before us, and she said that it's way too scary for the little boys. So Johnny and the little boys stayed home, and. Um, Aspen and Drake came with us. So we're just, we're at a theater where they have treats and intermission and it's the intermission right now. And, oh no, the movie started. Look at the tadpoles down there, the little tadpoles. So, Allie got a hold of us and said that the, the movie that uh, they were going to watch was not a great one for little kids. So, we decided to stay back, huh? Yep. And uh, go to Frog Pond and Turtle Pond, but we can't find Turtle Pond. I think we're getting close. See those lights over there? I think we're getting close to, to Turtle Pond. But Frog Pond was kind of sad. It was just polywogs. Yeah, a bunch of polywogs. Anyhow, we're going to go find the Turtle Pond and see if there's I any turtles. So many. Hey guys. Did you guys hear that over there? No. Yep, there's something there. <gasps> That's a bunny. bunny. Is it a bunny? I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. I saw I saw it. it. Where is it? I'm so scared. Don't be scared, it's just a it's just a bunny. I don't see where it went. Let's go look for frogs. Ducks. Looking for turtles. Look at those bats, they're getting all the bugs. And this is the coolest thing at night where like there's bats flying around eating the it bugs. It is so rad, then, huh? And then the ducks chase off the bats for some reason. Oh, turtle. Oh, turtle. Turtle, turtle, turtle! It's so easy to see turtles at night. There's one over there. Yeah, there's one right there too. Oh, wait, right there. Turtle. Turtle. Oh, there's a bullfrog. Right there, guys. Wow, he is big, 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 big guy. You think I can catch him? Did you catch it? Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> can you see it? Oh, that is massive. Oh wait. He's a big That's guy, huh? Huge. And then you can like see its flippers. Look at those flippers. Yeah, he's big. He's massive. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness, oh, he go. he moves. Let him go. Fast. <laughs> Bye, Big Joe. Bye, cool. Big Joe. We caught a frog. You cool. caught a frog. That was awesome. We are now in a cemetery. Uh huh. At Looking night. for something. You ready? I'm gonna show you guys something mm -hmm. crazy. Read that headstone. Wait. Grandpa and. Mima. Wait, they didn't die. Why? Why is there a headstone here then? You see the birth date. Now, what's the death? Where's the death date? There isn't one, is there? No, there's not. That's because they they pre got they pre uh, made their headstone, mm -hmm. and they pre bought their plot so that none of the family has to worry about that. Look out there. Mm -hmm. See all those headstones? Mm -hmm. At the ranch, Boromir was buried in the canyon today. So, guess what you guys get to do? What? Make the headstone? You guys get to make the headstone out of a rock. So I think we should find a good rock at the ranch when we go out there and you guys yeah. can paint on it, okay? Yes. Does that sound like a good idea for Boromir? A big good rock. Yep, because he's he was kind of part of the family, huh? Yeah. I miss him. Hmm? I miss him. I mean, you we miss haven't him? seen him for a we long really time yeah. still. But I still miss him. I know. We have been talking for quite some time with the kids about Boromir and basically where he would pretty much end up um, after within the next six months. And, and obviously, he's a beef cow. He was going to end up being butchered, and uh, he's and the same way. obviously there was a different there was a different plan for him, um, which again is sad, but it's part of the game. I'm just glad the kids, you know, it's tough for them to fully understand, but. We've been talking about it enough that it made it a little bit easier, I believe. Don't you think, mm -hmm. guys? Yeah, his part. A little bit it's part of his part. Part of and his plan. And he got to go. Yeah. So Allie told us that the Doctor Strange movie was really scary, and the boys 
and probably the little girl shouldn't go. So Johnny and the boys stayed home and I took the rest of the kids and Aspen and Drake and Emma with us to the movie and the boys could have watched it. I won't, I won't spoil anything, but the boys could have watched it. So maybe next week we'll take the boys to see it because they really wanted to see it. But I think they had a blast with Johnny. Dinner was so fun and kind of rushed. <laughs> but it's fun to have everybody over. We haven't had like a big dinner party for a while. So it was awesome to, have, to be together and connect with our friends and family and friends that are family and <laughs> it was awesome. So, but hey, merch, new merch. You are worth it. What does you are worth it mean to you? This is what you are worth it means to us. I hope we and you all feel the same about it. Because we love you and always remember that you are worth it. Bye guys.